Hey Pilots, Drain Man here. Today we are going to fix what I think is a very common problem. Alright, so first thing you want to do, take off any antennas you may have. You got a crossfire, an R9. Go ahead and pull that out. Get your battery out. Alright. And go ahead and pull these screws out for me. Whether you're rocking an X9D or a QX7, it does not matter. Open her up. Today, we're going to fix that remote. Okay, so now that you got her open, you got to go for the switch that you want to work on. So I'm going to get you over here. And this is my bad switch right here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get this ring off. And you can do that with a flathead screwdriver. Right there, we'll unspin. And don't lose that because you're going to need that. So do not lose that. As you can see, I have a fancy, nice black ring. To save from it sticking out a bunch, I'm going to put this on and create like a stopper. So now I've got a stopper here. So all I did was flip it upside down. So in reality, that's to hold your switch on from the front. But we put it on upside down and we put it on the bottom. So now when I go in, it's going to hold my switch. Because for this style, for this style, you can see we don't want it sticking out too much. I just need to get it started. There we go. Now, we'll go ahead and snug it up and just make sure it's in the right spot. It sure is. Now I need to tighten it a lot. Still make sure I'm in the right spot. Eh. There we go. Lock it down tight. Let's go to the back side. So this is our old switch. We're going to heat up our soldering iron. Alright, so to keep me from losing orientation, I'm going to do one at a time. Your other option is you can write down your color pattern. Brown, orange, red, and then solder them on. Brown, orange, red, whatever makes you happy. So I'm going to pull it. Next up, we're going to tin it. And then we are going to stick it through the hole. Now that I'm through the hole, I'll bend it over to hold it in place. So now I've got it through the hole and I've got it bent a little bit. I'm going to put a little solder on it to hold it. Alright, so as you can see, that's never going to come off. And then I'm going to start the next one. Going in the same order. If you lost track, you can match it to the other one. See how they went brown, orange, red? You can do the same there. Me, I'm just doing one at a time. Alright. Now, we're going to go through again. We bent it again. 
solder it. And now, last but not least, last one, peel my wire, tin it. So the pilots out there that broke a switch on their remote, and now you're, you're, you consider your radio to be no good, or you got to throw it away. Or you got to reprogram, go to a different switch. You can't use this one. This is for you guys. And be careful with your iron in there. You don't want to hit something you're not supposed to. Alright, so let's take a peek. We're all soldered up nice and neat. Got my three position switch back. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom out. We're going to put this guy back together. Be extra careful. Because you do have ribbons down there at the other side. Me, I would like to drop a screw in right away to hold it. Let's get one down here. Alright, put the rest of your screws back in. Alright, now that you've got everything back together, you want to tighten up these other switches. Just because they might have loosened up. See that? Loosened up a little bit. Look at that. Check your sliders. Everything looks good. Alright, final touch. I want to put my rubber back on. Boom. There you go. Now I'm able to arm. Fly. I'm back in action. Now, Guys, now that you've got your new switch in, don't just assume that you're freaking amazing and that you did it perfect. Go ahead and pop your quad into Betaflight and confirm that that switch is doing what it was supposed to be doing. Whatever it was doing, confirm it. That way after you know, hey look, yep, my switch is good, it's back to doing what it's supposed to be doing, you're good to go. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.